sword. All right, we are going to do a BRV training with literally the best of the best. And first to kick us off is Miss Tara. Go ahead, Tara. Hey, y'all. Thank you so much for having me. So um, I took some notes and I brought my friend here. So here we are. Just to remind you, yes, the shark. The shark theme is definitely legit, y'all. And I'm going to share in a minute just the kind of the whole thing that Mindy and Megan and a lot of us follow as far as being a shark. But to start off, I want you guys to pause and think, what would just 600 a month minimum do for your family? Okay, so $600. And I say that that amount because when you set your mind to a minimum of 2K PRV each month, that's, there you go, that's $600 without the leadership bonuses. So I really want you to think and make it tangible for yourself, for your family. That could be like, that's our car payment or it's groceries, dance lessons, vacation, whatever it is for you guys too. Because when you like apply it to your life, then I feel like it becomes more like a non-negotiable. And that's what happened for me. So I've started almost three years ago in August and I've only had two months. So the very first month, and then I had just a bad month, we all do, when I didn't hit 2K PRV, I've always hit it at minimum, okay? And so what do I do to get that? And here's some things I wrote down just to share. Um, I've always been a big party girl, a party year or sent event. You can change the lingo. Okay. And that looks differently months to month, but majority of my parties are still on Facebook. Okay. So yes, people still will have Facebook parties. Uh, so I highly recommend you still offering that or asking people that. Um, on July 1st, I did an in-home party that was awesome. So, you know, I think people are really, you know, interested in doing more of those. So make sure you're also offering those to your customers or friends, just getting together, maybe a girl's night, you know, make it sound simple and fun. Cause this one really was, she had like some brunch stuff and I brought a few things that was not overwhelming with products. And, you know, I showed, showed off like the fragrance flowers. Um, they sniffed, of course, the testers. And I walked away, I think it was like 600 PRB just like that. So that's what I'm saying. Like they smelled it, they saw the products and there you go. So we've got to offer these things more. You know, if you do have local customers, you've got to offer it to them. I recommend it. It's, it's you know, especially even the first, I was thinking I need to try every single month on the first, you know, to start off with a big party like that. Cause that was a nice big push, right? All right. Also, I also offer a ton of links. So know your customer. Maybe they're not really big on social media. I, you know, I follow up with them and I'll say, hey, let's open up a shopping link for you. You can send it to a few friends or even just you shop, girl, you shop once a month anyway. Let's build the rewards. So make sure you're offering that. OK, because even if she shared it with three people, that's three new customers for you. So I do that a lot. Um, I'm pretty consistent with sharing on social media. So in my VIP group, um, I've built that up pretty well, like 500 members, and it's pretty good interaction there. So I feel like that helps me a lot to get a, a good amount, three to 500 PRV just from my VIP group each month. And then, um, of course, Scentsy Club. So I'm able to finally get that up to between three and 500 consistently from club, which was good. And so that also helped me this month to start off strong. It was like a lot of my quarterly big orders. And so that helped around this first of the, the month. So also make sure you're following up. So from what I do with the parties and the, the links, I've really tried to even more this summer be more consistent with texting out like a few days after I can see that, it, you know, they've gotten their order, check in and then try to build the relationships. So, you know, of course, check in, hey, how did you like your fragrance flower? And then once we kind of start talking back and forth, just build on that relationship. So it's not always just about, hey, you know, here's another link or do you want to place an order or offer that shopping link to that customer? OK, so that's also I could tell paid off big time for me. Um, how often do I? Um, party or offer links at minimum, definitely two a week. Um, I want to get back to where when I had my four to five K PRVs, that was back when I was doing eight to 12 parties a month. But that honestly is where it's at. And people, you can do it. It's a lot of work. But there again, when I put in the hustle like that, it paid off with those really big PRV months. So uh, at minimum, if you're maybe you're just starting out one party a week at minimum, but definitely try to build to two, even three a week, okay? And I know Megan and uh, Mindy, they'll probably share more and elaborate on that as well for that. 
And then just to kind of go back to, because they're going to share some more about our shark. I want you to just think though, like why are we kind of come up with this? Like think about sharks and like how they act in the water. You don't ever really see them, you know, just floating, right? They're constantly circling. And so obviously, you know, you're going to go after it and you're going to attack it. So think about you're attacking that, you know, the order or that you're trying to get that party, you know, and it, like, and don't even be scared. So like I, I make a competition with myself. So if I'm texting to get on um, a party, I'm, in my mind, I'm like, tell me no, tell me no. Because if you tell me no, I'm going to ask five more people. Like you got to kind of build yourself up like that. And so think about the shark too. Like they're going to attack it. You can attack it through your actions and um, income producing activities. Okay. Did you know the strongest shark is the bull shark? So I want you to even be even stronger. Okay. They adapt for a wide range of water bodies. And so we have to, as consultants, adapt to the world, right? We adapt right now to inflation, all the no's, people ghosting us, the haters. We're going to adapt those. So we're going to adapt and attack. Okay. So that's what I want you to think about with that PRB. So that's really all I have because I know they're going to kind of build on that, but I wanted to introduce you to that tonight. Thank you. Thank you. That was so good. Adapt and attack. I'm here for that. And even what Whitney said, like sharks literally do not care about what other people are doing. And they're darn sure aren't caring about what other people are thinking about them, right? So be hungry. Go after that PRV and stop telling yourself that you can't. I think that's the biggest thing. Like, please stop saying, oh, I can't. Yes, you can. We all sat there and we're like, wait a minute, you want us to get 2K PRV? Yes, you can. Be hungry for it. Go after it. Stop making excuses and just do the darn thing. Love it. Thank you, Tara, so much. All right. And let me find Megan. Where are you at, Megan? There you are. All right. Up next is Megan. Okay. Hang on. Let's see. Is it going to highlight me as the active speaker or no? Okay. Okay. Hey guys. So I'm super excited to be talking to y'all tonight about PRV because PRV is my jam. Um, and I am, this is the aspect of my business that I am, I would say the most confident in. Um, and the reason I can say that confidently is because I believe and know that PRV is a learned skill. Okay. Um, and I want everyone to know that going into what I'm going to be talking about. Um, that it is something that anyone can do and anybody can be taught to do, okay? So if there is an excuse that uh, you're telling yourself as to why you can't get PRV, I want you to like throw the excuses out the window um, because just like anything in life, anything that you are focusing on and making a priority, you are going to see growth in it, okay? Um, and I know you guys are gonna get some amazing tips tonight. We already got some awesome tips from Tara. Um, and we're going to hear from Mindy next, um, but it's going to be about what you guys do with these tips that you're getting and how you are implementing them next. So make sure you guys are taking all the notes um, and also know that there are so many different ways that you guys can succeed in this business. Okay. Um, and that's one of the best things about this business is that you get to pick and choose what you want to implement, what you want to try, what you want to make work for you in this business and how much effort you're putting in. So remember that. Um, and I have a feeling we're all kind three kind of going to overlap a little bit in what you're hearing. Um, already Tara already mentioned some things that I'm going to hit on. Um, and I know Mindy will also. Um, but, um, yeah, make sure you're taking notes and implementing what you learn because it's about what you do next that really matters. Um, but also don't feel like you have to implement every single thing that you hear tonight. Okay. Take it like one thing at a time, because if you try to do everything all at once, you're going to feel overwhelmed. So try to take a few things that you hear tonight add it into your routine. Um, and then like, once you master them, try to add in more things. Okay. And I do have some actionable items to share with y'all, um, to implement in your business, to work towards that high PRV, um, with like each section that I'm going to talk about tonight. So I do not know how to share my screen on you, but I am going to pull up my, um, I made a pie chart to show you guys, uh, the PRV that I earned in June. Okay. Do you so, want me to do it? Yeah. If you can, that would be great. Cause I don't have any idea how to do it. Like I do have it pulled up here. Hold on. Okay. 
Okay, so here is the little pie chart that I made of my PRV for June. Um, and I made this to show you guys how exactly I got my PRV, where it comes from. Um, and I'm a huge numbers person. Uh, so I love to see like breakdowns like this. And I feel like it is super telling um, to show like what goes into getting that high PRV. And I feel like it perfectly shows that like getting high PRV comes from doing a lot of little things consistently. Um, so what I'm gonna first start off with is the highest percentage, which is parties on my pie chart. So it is it was 33% of my PRV for June. Um, so that is an entire third of my business. Um, and this is one of the things that I feel like is inevitable if you want to have high PRV. Um, Tara hit on it. I'm sure Mindy will hit on it. Um, but this is something that you have to constantly be doing if you want to be growing your network and growing that base PRV. Okay. Um, because you can have your friends and family buy a lot of Sensi, but Grandma Susan can only buy so much before she's going to get burnt out, right? Um, so that is huge in continuing to add to your, to your customer base. Um, and so I do, uh, pretty much all of my parties online. I do all Facebook groups. I, I haven't really, really gotten into like home parties or events or anything like that. Um, so all online parties is what I've been doing. Um, and I use Visly is what I use to run my parties. I basically started with Whitney's mock party and I evolved that. That's what I started with though for my base. So if you are newer or you don't know how to do an online party, start there. Because, um, oh Lord. Okay. Sorry. I heard something. Um, so start there as a base um, and then work your way up to adding things in. So one, one training that I watched that helped me so much was Mindy's. Um, I don't remember what group she did the training in, um, but it was an amazing training on how she does her Facebook parties. And I implemented so much stuff from that training. Yes, Mindy, RRR, yes. Um, into my party. So like I've added a ton of like interaction posts and just really focused on connection as the main thing for parties. Um, so, and for, so I told you guys, I'm going to give you guys an actionable item for each section that I'm talking about. So your actionable item for parties um, that I do in my business each week is I have a booking blitz one time, at least one time each week. So take 15 to 20 minutes, sit down and go ahead and start doing a booking blitz once a week. If you make that a habit, you will get online parties and you, you will see a difference in your PRB. Um, and I'm going to kind of talk about verbiage in a second, but as far as like it's going to go into the next part. So um, the next section, as you can see, is 22% came from my VIPs and follow-ups. Um, so this is where I feel like connection and consistency becomes really important and also having a system in place. Okay. Um, and a system, if you're new, is basically just a way that you keep track of something or a way that you do something. So my follow-up system, I was going to show you guys, it's this paper I made. Oh gosh. I don't know if you can unshare the, um, go back to the, just like me, Anya, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> can you guys see me now? Yeah, I think you're good. Okay, okay. Okay, so this is my follow-up system um, that I kind of made this, it's like a grid, it's super simple and I put only the things that are the most important on here as far as follow-ups go. So it basically has the customer name, the date they ordered, the total. If I posted a thank you, um, like on social media, um, if I sent their thank you mail, what kind of thank you mail, what, what if it was attached to a party or what kind of order it was. And then the last column, which is the most important that I'm gonna talk about is if they ask them to party. So that is it on my follow-up sheet. Um, so whenever, so follow-ups and my parties kind of go hand in hand, like the booking blitz and the follow-ups go hand in hand because on Fridays, what I do is I sit down and I do follow-ups. I do follow-up Friday is what I call it. Okay. So, um, I'll sit down and I'll go through my list. I'll just pull this list out and I'll say, okay, that's so-and-so Susie Q ordered. 
Um, so I'm going to follow up with her. I'm going to say, Hey, how did you like whatever you ordered? You know, how did you like your six pack of wax? What was your favorite bar that you got? What was your favorite scent? I, I follow up with them, check in on their order, see what they liked, you know, make a connection. Don't just make it all about like the follow-up, you know, make it a connection every time that you're getting, you're contacting somebody. Okay. And then after that, once we have a little bit of chatter, the next thing I say, this is my biggest verbiage right now that has been working really, really well for booking parties. I'll say, so, um, I was wondering if I could throw you a wax bash to spoil you back for supporting me in my business. What do you think? And I have been getting a really, really good response from that verbiage asking that way. Um, so, and then I wanted to also talk about like my VIP group too, because this is also tying into like follow-ups and my VIP. So, um, for my VIP group, I make sure that I post at least one time a day. Um, and the rule for your VIP group should be 80% sensi and about 20% personal slash like relationship building content. So because people buy from who they like, know, and trust. So building that relationship with your customers is vital to them continuing to come back to you. Okay. So for your actionable item for this section is to post one time a day in your VIP group. If you need to schedule out the posts, it shouldn't take you more than 15 to 20 minutes to sit down and, and schedule out your posts for the week if you do one post a day, okay? Um, next up is my other section. Anya, if you wanna pull up that um, thing one more time. Um, but so this section is also 22%. So this is a section that I put together of kind of three like subcategories because I felt like these three, so the, the category is basically random PWS orders, fundraisers, and new customers. So I feel like the, these three things went together well because they are somewhat unpredictable, okay? But at the same time, this PRV is PRV that I got from being um, either consistent on social media or consistently being paid at title as lead or above. So if you don't know, if you're new, um, if you are paid at title as a lead or above, you get put on the sensi.com like locator. Um, so if you, if someone were to put in your uh, zip code, if they're trying to find a consultant near you, you come up on that locator. So I do get random PWS orders every month from that, which is pretty cool. Um, but also social media is a really big part of our business, okay? that can really boost sales and help us find new customers. And I'm not gonna go too much into social media because I could talk for like hours on social media. There's a lot of things that you can learn about social media. Um, it, but if social media is one of your weak points, I urge you to go and train yourself on social media. There's so many people that are really, really good at social media that I've gotten great tips from, including Brianna Engel, Ray Anderson, Amber Ryan, they all have really good like social media trainings, um, but consistently sharing LTOs or limited time offers. Um, I got several customers new last month from doing that. So like the cowboy hat, Lilo and Stitch, I try to share at least once or twice a week limited time offers on my regular Facebook page to get new people. And that is your actionable item for this section is to share in your regular Facebook page, one to two times a week, limited time offers. Okay, next section is Sensi Club. So this one is lower than I would like it to be, um, but it's something that I honestly don't share as much as I could. And I wanted to point that out because it's okay to have weak spots in your business and recognize that, okay? Um, and the reason I know that it's a weak spot in my business is because it's something I haven't been super consistent with. Um, and so I want you guys to know that if there's an aspect of your business that is lower than you'd like it to be, that's okay. And just having that self-reflection and knowing that there's room for growth and being able to reflect on, on your business and say, yeah, I do need to focus some more attention there. Um, and that's how you get better. So take the time, watch trainings on that specific aspect of your business that, you know, you want to grow. And then, you know, focus really hardcore on that. Make it a goal of yours to grow that. Um, okay, um, what else do I have? Yeah, so that is something I made a goal whenever we had the um, 
whatchamacallit, the, the incentive, I made that a goal and I started to really focus on that. And since I have focused on that, I've really, you know, taken the time and it's grown. So um, the actionable item I have for Sensi Club is to post one day a week and talk about club in your VIP group, in your stories, and mention it in your follow-ups. When you have somebody who is ordering more than once or once a month, every other month, or you know, quarterly, if you have somebody that is ordering often and you start to see that trend, bring up Sensi Club because that is the biggest like deal for them. That is the best deal that you can give them. And it is good customer service to bring it up and talk to them about it. Okay. And lastly, we have the scent to create section, which also is 11%. It's the same as Scentsy Club, but I do want to say that I'm very proud of this part of my business, okay? Because this is something that I feel like has started to snowball and something in my business that like truly brings me so much joy to do. Um, and it's because I've been consistent with it that it has grown, um, so it allows me to be creative and artsy and put in a lot of detail. It also gives me a chance to really spoil my customers. Um, it has taken a lot of focus and consistency with. Um, basically how I do my crates is I will do pre-orders for them for a week. I go on Canva and I make a little, you know, graphic, whatever. And um, I will share that in both my VIP group, my regular Facebook, my stories, all of those places. And I will post that I'm doing pre-orders for a week, but that is not all that I do. I don't just post and hope that I'm going to get some people to, you know, get a crate. I also will message a lot of people in my VIP group. Um, and I'll say, Hey, I know it's been a while since you got something. I was wondering if you wanted to get on my list for my, you know, July crate is what I'll say. Keep it super simple. Um, and that is how I've gotten a lot of my crate people. Um, and then I will go and I will do like a bulk order of everything, um, just like, you know, kind of like a local order. Um, and then I order extra things off of Amazon or Temu, 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 however you say it. I don't know. Um, and I try to keep those like really low cost items to be able to still spoil them, but also put a little something extra in their box. Okay. Um, that is what I had for the scent crates. Let me see. I kind of got off a little bit. Um, and then, okay, so also sharing pictures. Once you do the scent crates, this is a super important thing to be intentional with. Um, and it's something that when I did, so I did scent crates uh, last year um, in July and August, and I kind of gave up on when I, when I did them because I was telling myself that nobody wanted the scent crates on you. You can take that off if you want now because they, they got the whole, the whole percentages thing. Um, but anyway, so I, I did them in July and August and I ended up quitting because I told, was telling myself, um, that they, that nobody wanted the boxes, right? I was posting, I wasn't getting any interaction. I was, I also know now that I wasn't doing things right. Um, because I wasn't asking people, you know, I wasn't like asking one-on-one -on -one. I was just posting and I thought, oh, well, nobody wants them. I guess I'll just not do these anymore. Um, but I watched a training. I don't even remember who it was, but this girl, she had like over 50 scent crates that she was doing every month. She was so inspiring. I took a lot of what she was saying and I implemented it and it has started to work and snowball. And it has been so amazing to watch. I don't think it was Nicole Atnip, Sylvia. It was some other girl. I don't remember what her name was. I do love Nicole Atnip though. I love her scent crates. She has been a huge inspiration for me for mine. Um, but I would really get so discouraged not when I wouldn't get people interested. But I think it really is being super intentional, posting pictures of what you're doing in, the, in your crates. I also do these referral slips in mine. So this says refer a friend to next month's scent crate and you both get 50% off. I got this idea from Whitney. I do this in every single crate and I have had people refer people. Um, and I've had people that have referred people like the referred people refer people. So that's pretty fun. So um, the actionable item for this one for this scent crates category, if you want to start doing scent crates, um, is to offer pre-orders for one week 
and one-on-one -on -one message all of your VIPs, every single person in your VIP group, message them. If you want to start this, message everybody one-on-one -on -one. or, you know, do a project broad or what is it? What is it that Anya does? I don't know what it's called, project broadcast. That would be a good way to do it. So <laughs> basically to close things out, um, high PRV comes from a lot of little things adding up and doing them consistently, okay? Continuing to build your network through parties, and then building your connection with those people that you met in the parties that ordered, building your connection, nourishing your relationships with them, treating them like gold, okay? And focusing on the aspects of your business that you then want to grow, okay? You have to focus on where you want to see growth. And I think that is everything that I have now that I'm a sweaty mess. <laughs> And Mindy, Thank it is your you turn. Great. You did great. Thank you so much. That is one of the things I really wanted everybody to see. Is it's not just one aspect. Like these directors aren't just like, oh, I'm only focusing here. I'm only focusing here. Now, if Megan was to build up her customer base and she could do a million cent crates and people referring her like crazy, then maybe she could be like, I don't want to party, right? But she's got to find where she fits and what's going to bless her business the most. And it can be different for all of us, but I will tell you that the base of your PRV and that network has to start with you partying consistently. That is where it has to start. Okay. You want those customers, you want those teamies, you need to party consistently. Um, but yes, I, I love that. And I also love Megan always is training herself. Okay. So y'all don't forget your independent consultants. You showed up here tonight. So that's amazing. And um, we're so proud of you. Implement, 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 like she said. Um, but also don't forget to train yourselves, okay? All right, Miss Mindy, it's her turn. Let me find her. Let me find Miss Mindy. Yo, I'm so pumped. These women are just freaking phenomenal. They really are. Woo, so pumped. Okay, hey everyone, I'm Mindy. Um, Thanks for having me on tonight. I love PRV. I love it, love it, love it. As you have heard um, throughout the whole night so far, I party and I party hardy. I go hard. I love it. I go for it. I, um, as soon as I got into a rhythm of partying, I didn't stop and look back. I remember when I first joined and was starting out and I watched a party training actually that Whitney had done. And she was like, um, someday you'll be doing for parties for people you don't even know. And I was like, she's out of her mind. I can't even get parties with people who I do know. <laughs> like That's never going to happen. But it's true. I literally like I used to be able to remember how I made the connection with this people. And now I have no clue. Don't like I'm like, oh, this person lives in this state. And that's cool. Like it really just builds and builds and builds and builds and builds. And I, once I got into a rhythm, um, and that came from host nominations, I started to double book and triple book, quadruple book, whatever. If you want to party in the month of July, psh, let's do it. I don't care what it is. I don't care what else I'm doing, because when you have a goal that is actually important to you, nothing is going to stand in your way. And I wanted to build this business and build my customer base and build it, build it, build it. And another reason why I double and triple book myself is because of the PTSD and trauma of being ghosted by the one host that I have scheduled for the one week. Okay. That I don't like that. I don't want to do that. And that's too much of a gamble for me, especially I feel like now even more so people are ghosting more than ever and skipping out on parties they had scheduled more than ever. And thankfully, I have two or three other people ready to go booked for that week. So I'm not missing a week of partying because I have it stacked up. With my parties, I try to make them as fun and entertaining as possible. I always ask myself, would I participate in this party if I were a guest? If the answer is no, then I need to change it. If the answer is yes, then we're doing something right. Okay, like Megan said, I do a booking blitz weekly. Weekly, 
weekly, every single week at the end of every single party. To me, it doesn't make sense for me to wait for six weeks on down the road to go back to Brandy's party. Hey, remember six weeks ago, do you remember me? You didn't comment anything. You didn't like anything, but will you please do a party? Like that makes no sense to me. Whereas when I'm in the moment, I run my parties it officially starts on Monday and we end on Sunday and I'm messaging people Monday or Tuesday about partying. They've seen my name pop up on their feed. They've seen their friend comment on some of the things that I'm posting. They recognize who I am. So when I'm in their inbox, then they can still make that connection. It's not six weeks later where I'm now dying for parties and I have to go back. Oh, have I messaged people in this party? It's literally part of my schedule and my routine when it comes to partying. I don't like to wait. Sometimes I have nobody that responds from any of the parties. And sometimes I do have people that respond. But even when I have a party where there's no action, no sales, no nothing, no hosts, like I, sometimes the host is nothing, you know, when you have a goal that is important to you, nothing will stand in your way. And I will still message people throughout those parties about partying because you never know. And that's one of the biggest things I've learned in this business is that you never know. Okay, I had a party. I love to talk about this one. I had a party, hosted nothing. Nobody did anything. I reached out to every single person afterwards. I gained a $100 a month Scentsy Clubber from that party a month. Like you just, you never know. Okay. So aside from partying, which I love to do, I do most of my parties online. That's all my parties online. I haven't done any in person. Um, it's something that I'm working on, um, as well as some other types of way to like party, um, if you will. But one of the best things that I think that comes from partying on Facebook, even if you're an advocate for home parties, which I know as soon as I do some, I will be too. But in my opinion, the biggest, biggest, biggest benefit about partying online is that you can do anything else you want while that party is going on and you're making money. You can do it that you can't even do with a home party. And you might make so much more money, income disclosure, Anya, you might make so much more money in one shot from a home party but I can't teach at the dance studio and do a home party at the same time and make two paychecks. And with an online party, I can. With an online party, I can be at the dance studio, teaching my students, making my income from there and check my email and get a sensi order from my party that's going on on Facebook. And that is why I love them so much because I like making money. Income disclosure again, <laughs> if we need it. Okay, so after partying, I was hard core, love her to death, Amy kind of girl. Loved it. Why? Because it was easy. Looking back on it though, I didn't really get that great of a return from Amy. And then Amy went away and everybody kind of freaked out a little bit, but I turned to um, reaching out. I had to do something. I had to follow up with people. And I don't know why, but I was like, I do not want to individually email everybody. That is boring. And I'm not interested in doing that. I don't want to do that. And I wasn't really getting that many responses from Amy emails anyway. So I turned to texting. Is it tedious? Yes. Does it take a lot of time? Yes. I am telling you from experience, I get so many more responses than I ever did with Amy emails ever. Personal texting, I get so many more to the point now where people are saving my number and they're texting me. Hey, do you know when this will come back? Let me check and see. Oh, it's available now. Boom, here you go. I've gotten to the point with some of my customers where I am saving their numbers in my phone because we have that kind of relationship where I can say, hey, All Black is coming back on Monday. Add it to your Sensi Club. Hey girl, it's back. It's go time. Here's the link. Get it in there. You can add up to 10 if you want. <laughs> you know, and the follow-ups are so important. And I have seen, again, such a turnover in personal texting that I highly recommend it to every single one of my teenies when they are joining. Okay, you just got an order. This is what you're going to do for follow-ups. Personally, text them for my phone number. Yes, you are. 
Yes, you are. And with every single follow-up, you guys, I talk about Sensi Club. My PRV this month, almost half of my PRV is from Sensi Club this month. Almost half of it. My Sensi Club is growing and growing. I'm at 35 subscriptions. I'm not stopping anytime soon because almost half of my PRV is coming from Sensi Club. And that in and of itself is exactly where I want to be. I set my goals with Sensi Club, not as I want to add two new clubbers. I have PRV goals for Sensi Club. My first PRV goal was to be active every single month with Sensi Club. Why? Because that pressure is off. I don't ever have to worry about getting active with Sensi Club because, uh, or from other PRV because Sensi Club does it for me. My next goal was leadership numbers. I don't have to worry about hitting my 500 guys because I am pulling over 500 a month in Sensi Club now. The next goal is 750. Some months I'm hitting it, some months I'm not. So it's still a goal. When it's consistently 750, I will hit a thousand in PRV every month from club. And the only way to do that is to continue to party and meet more people because people cancel clubs. I've taken things out of clubs. I've lowered my club subscription. I don't need this one anymore. I don't ever use it. I have 15 of these wax bars. I'm never going to use them. It's gone. And I just lost six PRV of my own, of course, but people cancel club and constantly needs to be replaced. Customers fall off. They constantly need to be replaced. When something is important to you, nothing will stand in your way. Since the club is not just bars of wax, guys. Guess what's not going away? Knock on wood before I jinx myself. Whiff boxes, 30% off. If someone likes a whiff box, how much is it? Well, if you want to get it one time, 30, $35 tax and shipping. But you know what? Why don't we do this? Why don't you order it this way? You'll get it discounted. You'll get 20% off of shipping too. If you like it, leave it. If you don't like it, cancel it. You walk away, you're done. Like no harm, nothing. Washer whiffs. The second they put that large tub of washer whiffs into club, what happens? You're going to get 10% off of that and 20% off of shipping. You guys are going to be pushing that shipping hard. That's a huge discount now. I would rather pay. There are, there's a product that I really want to get and I love it so much and I want to order it from line. I can buy it locally, but ordering online is just so much easier sometimes. And I pull up and it's $10 shipping and I say, nope. <laughs> Nope, I will wait until I the next time I go to that store and I will buy because I'm not paying $10 shipping. If it were $8 shipping, game changer. And guess what? Sensi Club is $8 shipping, but it's 20% off. It's discounted shipping. Ooh, I want discounted shipping. Okay, I party hard, I follow up and I seal the deal with Sensi Club. I wanna get everybody in that club. I wanna get everybody partying. I wanna get everybody in that club. I don't care if it's one bar of wax. What if you had 194 PRV in Sensi Club? What, what if not? What if you had 194 PRV at the end of the month on the 30th? And on the 31st, your one club subscription that had one bar of wax in it processed. And then now you're active. My goal every month minimum is $3,334 in PRV. Because that guarantees that I will get a $1,000 paycheck. If I were six PRV away from that in the last day of the month, mm -mm, no, seal the deal, get the clubber, go for everything. If someone likes counter clean and we know it's a scent that's not really going to go away, you why don't you just add that to Sensi Club? You get discounted shipping on it. You get it every three months if you want. You can change the scent, whatever, but at least you'll get discounted shipping even though they're not gonna get 10% off of one thing of counter clean, they'll get 20% off of shipping, okay? Remember, if you have a goal that is important to you, nothing will stand in your way. And that is where that shark reference comes from. That's where that shark mentality comes from, guys. Because the shark's goal is to eat. And eating is important and nothing will stand in its way. When a shark comes into the water where there's a thousand people where it should be scared, it's not because the goal is important and that leg looks good. They're going to go after that leg. 
They want it. And guess what? So do we, we all do. We all want it. We're all doing this for a reason. If something is important to you, nothing is going to stand in your way. Go get what you want. Love you. Bye. Love it. Love it. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. I am just so pumped up. And I think even just good reminders in general for all of us, but even I'm like, dang, do I talk about Sensi Club in every follow-up? I don't think I do. Like I can do better. So write down you guys what you're going to do, what you're going to change in your business to be a PRV shark. We can all do it. And like, there's like, there's no excuse if you can party and do other things and still live your life. Oh Lord, I'm dropping stuff. But like, there's no excuse. So why are we not doing that? Why are we not pushing ourselves to that? It's amazing. Does anybody have any questions before we hop off? I'm going to stop recording real quick. This light's going to fall on me. It's fine. Okay, let me stop recording.